Welcome all you lords and ladies of fate. In this stream, we play all manner of tabletop RPGs for your entertainment. That's right, Gur. They're there watching you. 
This is the only tabletop Twitch stream that allows you to control the destinies of our players. You can earn fate chips just by watching, also by following, hosting, or subscribing. Give us those uh, uh, fantastic little prime subs. <laughs> Spend those fate chips that you earned to buy items uh, or heal your favorite players. You can make them say or do silly things and even force the party into random encounters. Tonight, we are back in Adenia. A world where diametrically opposed factions are vying for control of all magic in the world. That was a shite throw. How are we all doing today? Yeah! <laughs> Maybe today is kill day. <laughs> it very well could be. It very well could be. I'm liking this TV energy. Hey, uh, Jesse, do me a favor. Um, say say a sentence. I'm going to say a sentence because my humble GM directed me to do so. Okay, just checking. Hey, can you do me a favor and go to your um uh, uh your settings in Skype and see what your um audio input is set to? I sure can't. <laughs> uh, while while she's doing that, um, welcome, no, actually, welcome yeah. everybody. Give me an option to do that. Is it your phone? Oh, it doesn't. Are you on Skype? No. Oh, because yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we'll just, well, you know what? Um, we'll 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 bear with it. Um, so, uh, who 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 uh, who remembers what happened last time? Oh, before we get into that, <laughs> let's go ahead and um. Uh, ask a question for our wonderful lords and ladies out there in the uh, Twitchverse. Uh, today's uh, little trivia question for you is going to be, uh, who dragged the party into uh, the barracks? <laughs> Drag is a strong word. I figured I'd give you an easy one today. Uh, so let's get some let's get some Muzaks going. Let's get some, I was uh, so concerned that you were gonna be you were gonna say who was the party member that stole some bread and I was gonna throw some hands. <laughs> <laughs> that was way back in actually moved past the bread. Good. Yeah. Maybe. Wait, why are you bringing All up the bread? Poor hungry oh, people. <laughs> just of course just the left in ashes in the wake of Sister Nova. Atlas has got your answer. <laughs> Atlas. Atlas. Oh yeah, there we go. Someone, someone, give her them two hundred fate chips Who was for it? for for being such a wonderful Who was uh, lady of fate here. You know who uh, was. Sorry, Billy Wildstar. Uh, uh, biggest motherfucking dickus is a very good. Um, uh, it's a wildly inaccurate way. To honorable mention. Right? Yeah. Honorable. We'll, we'll call it an honorable mention. Honestly, biggest uh, dickus. Okay, I know we all hate him, but. Would would we would would we tap it? <laughs> I mean, the way he's described, <laughs> right? So, uh, who he would tap wants us. to? Who wants to? Who wants to start us on a, a lovely little recap? We went there, then we went there, and then we're going there, and yeah, sounds great. Great recap. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, uh, we learned uh, we learned a lot last stream. Uh, Sister Nova uh, investigated uh, the room that they, they were all in, the princess's uh, uh, room, uh, and found a journal that had some very uh, uh, very good journal entries in there. Some some good info coming out. Let's see, what did we learn? We learned from that that uh, um, there's the potential that. Orthan is the father of Grey. Um, we learned that the princess and Kanisha did not know that Grey was alive. Um, when she did learn, she was wrought with guilt. Uh, and shortly thereafter, um, good old Orthan left the castle with uh, with Gray for his protection. Um, we also learned that something happened in the forest. A uh, magical tower magically just popped itself into existence. And at that moment, something awakened inside of the princess. And this um, awakening kind of uh, resulted in a power that uh, she was unable to control. 
Uh, and then she teleported all of these people to someplace else. Um, from that, you uh, wandered around town, uh, pilfering all manner of shops. Because, uh, you know, why wouldn't you? It's like a kid in a candy store. <gasps> I got that really cool kettle. You did, you did. You got a, you got an amazing kettle. Uh, uh, if anyone um, doesn't remember, uh, this kettle uh, magically creates a tea party anytime boiling water is poured out of it into a cup. Oh yeah, it's a wonderful little tea set. That's really cool. I believe I believe something else was found for. Um, uh, there was two th other items: one for the general party, and the other for uh, specifically for Gray. His bar bag. Mm. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. My bar bag. His, his his old his own bar of holding. Hell yeah, baby! <laughs> Drunk for the rest of my life, which will be short. <laughs> that was great. That was great. That have was... you been? Have you been? Have you been? Have you been reading my notes? <laughs> you, should, you should stop that. Stop. <laughs> um, actually, the the phrase the phrase that I said at the end of the stream uh, uh, for our patented catchphrase was "Gray's gonna die." <laughs> was it really? <laughs> I'm really glad no one picked up on that. It's funny already. that I made that TikTok though, right? Like, oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Wow. Armin really woke up and chose violence today, didn't he? <laughs> I'm ready for it. All day this is what happens when you when when you all back me into a corner of place that I haven't prepared for. This is this is how I am. Yeah, this is like a kitty cat. And then... He actually threatened violence last time too. He didn't. Uh, <laughs> this is a bad idea. I'm choking myself. Honestly, so... should do we even care about Gray's mum, or should we just have a tea party? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can all go right. either way. Sorry. <laughs> Well, no, 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 no. first, 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 let's find another building that DM hasn't prepared for and go have the tea party there. That's my vote. <laughs> You've just prepared That's... the DM, so way to ruin it. Uh, so. Beach episode? Um, awesome. <laughs> yes. Hey, there's, there's a beach somewhere. Didn't we have a beach episode, um, like, already, though? Didn't we have one in, like, the first, what, ten episodes when we yeah, were when on we that Yeah, we killed everybody, we had to party by ourselves. And then we got drunk, like, really drunk. <laughs> What's in this building? Yeah, it was uh, it was how you uh, um, uh, coped with the guilt of destroying that entire island village. I wouldn't oh, know anything right. about did that. You? I didn't destroy the village. That was no, right. you did not. That was right before not. Sister Nova. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, at the very end of the episode, uh, you all made your way into the barracks uh, to, to, to look and... Uh, found uh, another one of those magical imprints and uh, this imprint was described to us expertly by our very own uh, poisonous gray and uh, he saw Orthan and Inkanisha in one of the rooms uh, and it appeared that uh, Orthan was trying to calm down a very hysterical princess uh, at the very end though uh, the imprint looked up and made eye contact with gray and at that very moment the imprint fades and as the imprint fades you can see gray your mother stand up and reach out her arms and rush over to you but before she can get to you She's gone. And you all are, um, let's see, he, uh, from, if memory serves, Gray is pretty much standing in the doorway here, and everyone else is kind of like rummaging around whatnot. And whatnot. My favorite knot. The whatnot. I prefer the knot. I found a sharper, the sharper, heavier thing to, to to be people with. That's fun. Oh, and who 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 was putting the word bulls uh, all over the the, the map last uh, stream? I'm just curious. Bulls? Didn't even see yeah. that. <laughs> I was clear. I was clearing the map uh, before the stream, and I, I got, went all the way down to the bottom of the map, and all along the south wall of the town, <laughs> it just kept just bulls, bulls, bulls. I'm like, what? what? 
just graffiti from like the people from the town, you know, it's lived in. I don't know what you're on about. I, I, well, I think that was answers my question. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just like, like, guilty, I, but... but it wasn't me. Like it actually wasn't me. I did not. I got excited. I thought we were going to do like a running of the bulls episode. <laughs> Do you got do, do you all want a running of the bulls episode? <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but that sounds great. I mean, you have to run from the bulls while we're playing the game, or is it in game? Okay, either way. I just want to know. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I will do it. Uh, IRL. Oh. I'll just strap one of those like sweet like VR mounts or whatever. Just have the phone in my face and. <laughs> all right. Ah, so. Joke. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, zoom in here a little bit on our uh, location. So, Gray, you're standing in the doorway. Your mother has just attempted to reach out to you and... Um, what the f... I think she saw me. Did you guys see that? I think she saw me. What? Uh, anyone who would like to make a perception check... Uh, feel free to do so to see if you actually did, in fact, see this. Nah. Nope. Hey, hey, I very well can read. You're thinking of Gray. I sure he can read. <laughs> pretty, pretty dumb, this guy. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, how are those roles going? Uh, Sister Nova and Holly Hera, um both have uh, both bore witness to this event okay did you guys see that i think she i think she saw me yeah that looked like the princess yeah uh, and i it looked like she looked right at me right i mean these are what we've learned about these things is that we're just watching the past but it looked like the past looked directly into the future that's right i'm the future can I do an arcana check on, like, to, because this feels like chronomancy, right? Which is like a school of magic in D&D. &D. So, like, this feels mm -hmm. like maybe the princess ha has the ability to manipulate these little timestamps that appeared to be random at first glance, but maybe they're not. Maybe it's a specific trail. If you would like to go ahead, please go ahead and uh, roll roll me an arcana. Hey, again, I just wanted to point out that KV is uh, the first to actually play the game <laughs> this episode, just like last episode. <laughs> and expertly, expertly, they are doing it. Thank you. Uh, so, um, yes, uh, you're familiar with this, but you also know that um, in, in this world, in your world, um, chronomancy is kind of like a lost Art. It's one of those. It's one of those forms of magic in the world of Adenia that, um, if if you if anyone had seen something like that happening, it would be like, oh my god, no one's done this in in, in eons. Um, but there are plenty of stories from the olden days uh, where powerful witches, wizards, sorcerers, and whatnot were able to control, um, time. Actually, uh, chronomancy was one of the specialties of the, um, the greatest, uh, sorceress, uh, in, uh, I was about to say in Kenesha, um, Malfornesia. A lot of Ishas in, uh, Adenia lore, apparently. Is that a place where, um, the, the no-no magic culture is? Is there a place where the no no no, um, no is that is the, is the place that you referenced um, within the no no magic belt? I love that you're, uh, which... <laughs> that you're referring to as the no no magic belt, <laughs> otherwise known as Middle America, the Bible Belt. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, uh, no. If any stories come from um, uh, people using this type of magic, they're they're usually not good. Well, they're usually bad. Um, this is one of the reasons why uh, the uh, Ven Triumvirate or the collection of the dwarves, humans, and elves, uh, this is basically one of their uh, their tenets. This is the reason why they do what they do because of uh, Malfornicia and her powerful magics, especially in chronomancy. Um, 
that spurred them to become this tyrannical, oppressive regime trying to control all the magic to, in their eyes, protect the world. They didn't want to see another uh, sorcerer or sorceress uh, coming to power and uh, causing the world the same amount of strife that Malfornisha did. But the whole point um, of a sorcerer is that they don't choose to have that power. Like, it would be different if they were a wizard, right? Or a cleric, but mm-hmm. like a sor- sorcery is something that you don't choose, it chooses you. So I feel like Sister Nova was going to have a little bit of a crisis about how problematic this whole system is. Who is Gary? Why are we screaming Gary? We have a redemption. Oh. We have a redemption. Oh. <laughs> By fucking Billy. <laughs> out here ruining lives got it all right i love it i love it i see the redeem i've got it here uh all right (laughs) so uh (laughs) um sister nova you have you have noticed the um the 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 stink of chronomancy um and uh, that's where we are this I don't think this is a natural phenomenon. Well, no shit. What no, do you think it no. Is? Oh, hey, stoned NPC, thanks. Oh, thank you. But like, no, no, this isn't a natural phenomenon, right? Because if this, like, because timestamps are natural. Don't get, don't get me wrong. Timestamps are natural, but these have been altered with chrom- chronomancy, which is a lost school of magic. So. These have been altered, so there's a very powerful spellcaster nearby, or some, or at least there was a very powerful spellcaster here. Who do that, you think it was? I, I mean, I, sus- I suspect maybe the princess, but also maybe this Mommy? very powerful. Sorry. 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 Sorry, Mommy. Sorry, what's her name? Gary. You know, your mother, the princess, <laughs> whose name I definitely know because I read her diary. <laughs> <laughs> we all know her name. We don't need to say the name. In 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 Kinesia. In, 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 <laughs> look, look. The the name that was suggested to me was incontinence. I had to try to find a way. To make pooping yourself into a legitimate who name. Fucking, who, so... Which one of the chat monsters did that? <clears throat> uh, I think I'm. Pr- I'm pretty sure you've got uh, your answer in chat right now. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> who else but Wilds? Yeah. Okay, this this guy out here. All right. Well. Do you think it's mommy? All right. Yeah, that would explain why she just looked at me then, right? That might validate that. Uh, Holly Hera, what do you think? Sister Nova says, could be mommy. Holly Hera, as um, as the question is posed to you, as the question is posed to you, you start to transform back into your half-elf self. Hey, guess what? Actually, I read the rules. I read the rules today, and there is a time limit to wild shapes. So yeah, I've only been a wolf for like a day. Long, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, lo- longer than you should be allowed. It's it's one. It's a yeah. number of hours that is one half your level. What level are you? Forty-three. <laughs> Wait, actually, what level are we supposed to be? You all are level four. Hell. It has I know it's because I it's it's because you guys keep doing stuff like going into the barracks. I che- I, I'm trying to get you into battle. I'm trying to get you into battle. But like, what if we had a well, tea party? We needed <laughs> we needed to prep for battle, hence barracks. I'm also trying to get some more people to <clears throat> get some uh, uh, XP bonuses for Gray because uh, someone's falling behind the rest of the party. Oh no, not Gary. Behind my favorite. <sighs> Let's have a tea party. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. 
Okay. Bruce Gaskin, no. No barracks. No barracks. Stop. Yes. We're already here. I'm trying to get him out of nope, here. Hey, Atlas, thank you for getting that XP bonus for um, Ray. Uh, so just so you know, when you get an XP bonus in the Adenia campaign, you uh, put the character in question one step closer to bonuses when they level, which is awesome. Bonuses. I, I would like to, to raid the pantry of the barracks, see if there's anything that I can cook up for the team, because this is going to be a long journey. Oh, I actually have a magical castle that uh, can do that <laughs> for us now, so we can just have a tea party. Are you the look on the dude's face. Does it create bows for my hair? Um, can we say it does? <laughs> can we can, say it gives, can, can we, we say it gives girl a top hat? Oh, yeah, like honestly, oh, can we, oh, as oh. as like um just like a like for flavor when all participants of the tea party have like a magical like like outfit change. It's not a real yes. outfit. It's just yes. like an illusion. <laughs> Absolutely. Anybody who's taking part of it is going to be dressed in their uh, their tea time finest. <laughs> I like tea and cakes for tea and tea time. <laughs> <laughs> cannot wait <laughs> <laughs> cannot. All right. um, so you wanted to go ahead and take a look through um so yeah you um you go ahead and roll me a uh, investigation uh... you're the turtle you're the turtle from the never ending story that's what you are right now you're the turtle <laughs> not that it matters <laughs> <laughs> come on i i can click it so many there you go oh wow okay <laughs> hell yeah have, have, have six that's <laughs> a 14 uh, okay that was the first one so um yeah you're looking around and you see some um some some breads some some cheeses <laughs> Jesus. Mm -hmm. Any of these motherfuckers mm -hmm. eat vegetables? God damn. Like, everywhere right. we go is meat, meat and cheese and bread. Yeah, well, uh, uh everyone dies of so creative. However, lucky for you all, I am. I'm going to cast Drewcraft right there, right in the middle of uh, the Grain Hall uh, to create myself a little cooking fire. And with the bread and the newfound cheeses, I'm going to make multi cheese grilled cheese sandwiches for the food. Hell yeah, a party, and I'm gonna flip my bar bag inside out so that a big cheeky bar lands oh, next to the fire. No. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I'm gonna try and find some know. boiling water. And there's just there's just a wall of out liquors and glasses and uh, oh. fucking sniff snifflers behind the bar. He's our bartender and he's all whack, whack, whack. And he's flipping bottles, Tom Cruise style. It's gonna be an Cruise's absolute tail. Party. All right. So as you as you um, uh, turn your bag of holding, your bar of holding inside out, everything in the bag, every single thing in the bag just gets flung from it at an incredible speed. Um, do me a favor. Let's see. You have 30. Oh, no. 36 um, bottles. Let, do me a favor and roll me three d tens and one d six well you know what i never also logged into roll 20 so roll for damage because he's in there mm -hmm. it's definitely gonna have to listen. roll for damage because he's in there this isn't the kind of magic i thought it was first of all second I... of all <laughs> second of all i'm not in roll 20 so if somebody wants to roll for me oh dear um... oh geez you aren't in roll 20 what did I, you do i forgot how to game gamers <laughs> all right all right, I'll roll for you. I'm watching game right now. I apologize. Okay, so if they're bad, I get to reroll. Three, three, three d tens and a d six. Twenty three <laughs> of the bottles survive. So Whew. thirteen, thirteen bottles smack on the ground and just shatter. And those were the really nice ones. You don't get to say that. <laughs> I'm the DM. I get to say whatever I want. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> The, the rule book specifically says I can bend or break the rules if I want. Very true. <laughs> oh, now I hear the music. I'm such a turd. Uh, just yeah, I, I prepared music for you, man. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. I can't hear the music. Uh -oh. Make music up. You're a Peruski, my dudes. I hear it. <laughs> I just started hearing it. That was so good. 
Thank we you. also have a redemption for Sing. It's a group sing along. The sing along is Kokomo. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the song, uh, that's even better because that that means that you'll have to wing it. Is he is this full? This is this is a group sing along. Oh, okay. I, I... So so I imagine it would be it would be. Uh, I'm not. I don't want to tell you guys how to do this, but to make it seem organic, I feel like you know you guys are around a fire. You're eating some food. Yeah, tea party um, attire. Yes. Atlas also uh -huh, has a yeah. Atlas has a very important question in the chat. Number one, number two. I have a follow up question to her question once her question is answered. Oh, Sniffler is a part of the party. Uh, I'm not even going to take your points for that. He 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 has. Hell yeah. he's, he's there. Speaking of Sniffler, uh, and my whole turn my bar back inside out uh, extravaganza situation that we're in. I lost those bottles, but do I at least get the magical tiki bar that pops out next to the fire in the, in the barracks? Do I get yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, the the all of the like the the actual like little mini bar. Yeah, it came out. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna have to turn the bag back right side, the right way before you can put anything else yeah. in. Okay. So are we? Um, I'm just making some tea. <laughs> and I um, guess point i have completely transformed back to myself but i've been a wolf for so long that i'm still sitting like on floors like sure uh, yeah with my front like, hands on the floor in front of me like i still think i'm a wolf and i'm just sitting there not saying anything whoa holly guys uh no longer wolfy check it out oh shit Oh, hey, welcome back. I guess that means you can have human food. Uh, the first grilled cheese is served up, and I'm going to frisbee a grilled cheese at Holly Hera. This is some triumphant music for a grilled cheese. My wolf ways, I try to catch it in my mouth. <laughs> also, I made everyone some tea. Do you want yeah. to be part of the tea party? And doesn't does the tea party have, have, have hors d'oeuvres? <gasps> yes. It so does. As the... So as the, the the hot water is poured out, um, I think uh, there are like cucumber sandwiches and all those. Mm -hmm. You have some some nice savory scones, uh, a few a few little soups, some um, uh, some finger sandwiches, cucumber sandwiches, uh, 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 lady fingers. Uh, there, there's there's a lot of a, an assortment of uh, of things, uh, and magically. Uh, five, six, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting Sniffler. Six uh, tea cups are, are around the fire here. And um, Sniffler kind of walks up and waddles, wah, 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 grabs a cucumber sandwich and... Wah, 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 it's like wah, a wah, wah, magical girl transformations for everyone to like just wear mm -hmm. tea, like formal tea wear. <laughs> yes, and you all look down and you see you're now wearing like formal like tea wear. Like you, you've got some, some nice clothes on. Let's sing the song. <laughs> Let's sing the tea song. <laughs> the tea song? You mean the one from Aruba? Yeah, Jamaica. that one. Jamaica. Oh, I want to take you to... Down to Kokomo. Take it fast and then we'll take it slow. In other words, I don't know. Oh, and Sister Nova, um, uh, at the, with, the, <laughs> with the tea party, um, right next to you, um, spawns in, um, a to you, a delicious looking fruitcake. The aroma from it just, it smells so good. Um, everybody else is looking at this fruitcake and it is the most disgusting thing you've ever seen. That smells like an armpit. Oh, does, um, does anyone want some of the fruitcake? Uh, as soon as you say that, all of the oh. magic from the tea party. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> completely saps away and um the the, the tea kettle kind of rattles a little bit and then it's just sitting there next to it all of you look down and the the finery that you were all dressed in has morphed back into your regular clothing 
I didn't even get any. I didn't even get to. I didn't get my fancy loincloth go. Oh, uh, really? I saw some deviled heads over there. I was getting all excited and I came wait, over. Wait, wait, I can I pull the TL again. We can try this again. Book. I'm sorry, it was my uh, bad. It's my first uh, time using I... the magical teapot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna meta for a second. I'm pretty sure. The DM wants us to get the fuck out of this place, like immediately. Yeah, don't, 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 don't let me tell you how to have a good time. I'd love please, to please. Some also quiche on the spread. Maybe it'll appear again. I don't know. Sure. Yeah. yeah I don't know. I. I it's a tea we party. A, are we gonna have a hook style imaginary fucking banquet here. Maybe. <laughs> you don't want a food fight with me. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, once she pours the second uh, uh, cup cup of tea out uh, or pot of tea out, I am immediately going to grab every order that I see, or at least one of each, and put them on the plate along with my grilled cheese sandwich platter that I'm also just going to set in the middle for everybody. I have a question. As Actually, absolutely, go ahead. Okay, just for like future reference, right? So you know how we all change outfits when, as long as the tea party is active, we all wear the tea mm -hmm. party finery. Does that count as like a disguise? As like a magical disguise? Um, it it can if if the people looking for you uh, are expecting you to be in the clothes that you were in and not invited to the tea party <laughs> right it could fool them um but your uh, you know the rest of your appearance maintains you know you, nothing else changes so it could depends on how they roll um and uh, uh quentin as you um take those finger sandwiches and scones and whatnot you notice uh, as soon as you take them off the platter they immediately replenish. Ooh. I'm creek grabbing handfuls. We don't need to like ever worry about food ever again. Like I just as long keep as it replenish. As long as we have the tea party. Hey. <laughs> and boiling water. You have to have hot water. So and hot water. We need water and fire. But like, uh, that's, but that's easy. Pretty pretty <laughs> sure I got water and fire covered. See, we have a, <laughs> what can go wrong when we have an arsonist on our side? <laughs> uh, and you know you're all sitting around this tea party and and it's probably the first time since you all have banded together as a party that no one has argued no one has fought with each other you all are just kind of enjoying this tea and it's almost like a bonding experience oh. and the dm awards xp to everybody huzzah uh yeah absolutely uh, everybody really has, uh, every, every, everybody gets um uh, uh everybody's gonna get an XP bo boost for that yeah and um if you don't have inspiration go ahead and uh make a note on your character sheet click that little box <clears throat> for some inspiration. you're the meaning in my life you're the you inspiration <laughs> you see what it means to be kind to each other you guys yeah yeah this is this is fun um. Also, Quinton, I'm sorry for punching you in the face. That wasn't cool. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow, guys. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, sorry for blasting you up a flight of stairs. Apologies. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure how to respond to this, so... No, it's Just fine. Go back I... to my tea. Holly, are they, are they high? Are they high? This is the what happiest is moment I've had in the entire stream. It's, it's like, it's... I was I got irrational and I realized that you come from a little bit of a different background from me and I should be making more of an effort to um, uh, understand you and because that's what I would like you to do for me and I should behave in a way that I want others to act and I wasn't doing that and I'm very sorry about that. Um, I, I'm but I'm glad that we're friends. I'm glad that we're all friends. I'm glad we're friends too. Thanks yeah. for being on this journey with me, you guys, uh, during this 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 yeah. moment. Uh, and Quentin's gonna at that. Quentin's gonna stand up. Like, yeah, that's enough of this. And uh, he's gonna take a few <laughs> steps away, hold the jug of infinite water over his head, and just say, "Geyser, I need a cold shower." <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, so, Buzz. 
so the um the um uh, uh decanter of endless water just pours out an entire geyser of water directly on you um completely soaking you but to your surprise your face and hands are dripping wet but you look down at these beautiful uh tea clothes and they have maintained their dryness oh oh cool free dry cleaning Gonna we'll lean over to Holly and be like, "Does this mean we're not gonna kill him now?" Um, just not yet. Okay. What does everyone's tea clothes look like, by the way? I'm curious. Yeah, why don't let's let's go down the line and um uh describe for me what you're wearing. <laughs> let's start. Let's start with Quentin. Jinko jeans with the uh with the uh, <laughs> with the clothes pins in it. Gotta have a, a wallet chain. Uh, I think we Dragon Ball Z spiky parties. hair. Wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> oh, Something you'd wear to like a like a cute picnic, but like honestly, Yari sequence and wearing that to a cute picnic. Oh, right. <laughs> no, of, course, of course, because for, thick eyeliner. For yeah. it would be that it's not a phase mom guy to show up to Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Atlas says fingerless gloves. I resemble uh, all uh, of these excuse remarks. Excuse you, the fingerless gloves, uh, uh, fishnets on my arms for no reason, and the spiky uh, bracelets. <laughs> I had so many friends in high school that had that exact aesthetic. Including yourself. I think all of them. <laughs> oh I mean, same, but like I was kind of the lollipop in the graveyard. I was like the theatre kid that was on the student council They're... and all my friends were emos who were like on the verge of getting expelled. I've never I've never heard that described as lollipop in the graveyard, but uh there's always one and I love that. That's fantastic. I'm never gonna unhear those words that you just said. And I'm <laughs> and I'm thankful for it, to be honest. Oh, Holly Hero, what, what, what are your what are your um, your tea party? What's your tea party finery? Um, I'm wearing like a big pink poofy like gown, like a gown, like princess or queen. Gl- what, what's her name from Wizard of Oz? Glenda. She came down in a fucking bubble, Doug. Like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> me too. Here. Are you trying to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> big poofy skirt. Oh my god! What's that? What's that called? Crinol- is that crinoline? Is that what that's called? Mm-hmm. All that poofy material inside the the dress. Yeah, so, and uh, he's got little bows on his hair. Oh. But no and just and just a really nice tuxedo sure. loincloth. No, 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 I'm in a dress. Oh, yeah. a whole dress. <laughs> sure. just a big poofy skirt, no top, and no bows in your hair. Yeah, I love it's, that. Oh my god! Army, it smells like teen oh. spirit. Sister Nova, you are up. Oh, um, I feel like Sister Nova would be wearing like, um, very like a um, like how do you kind dress of like up from being angelic? Have fun. <laughs> I okay, so like a kind of like a mermaid dress, but like there's a slit down like the right leg, um, and it's in the colors yes. of her church, and like you know like the. Like a lot of people like have like not a lot of people like you know the the kind of the big like white thing that's like at the back of the dress sometimes, right? Yeah, like, it's a yeah uh-huh. like like the the no the um the very like uh, the Tudor the Tu the Tudor thing yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah right it's it she has one of those but it's like a moon so cool yeah and there are like lots of little stars on the dress. And like she's got very long like lantern sleeves, and her hair is like up in like a honeycomb um, bun. And there's like we all we all went to a tea party, and Sister Nova went to the Met Gala. Yeah, yeah. Really, uh... <laughs> Sister Nova doesn't dress up often, but like you know, when she when she dresses up, she dresses up. She's killing it. Yeah. Do the outfits change for each tea party, or like? I fucking each... hope so. <laughs> or, or like, do, or is it like, or I don't know, I don't know. I'm really excited I guess we'll, about I guess we'll see. tea party. <laughs> uh, and Gray, you've had plenty of time to come up with something. So what are you wearing? Oh, it's pretty straightforward. I've got giant black Doc Martin boots on. 
Oh my god. Cut off jean shorts. A pink hey! tutu. A pink tutu, a leather jacket, a wicked ass hairstyle, and a halo. <laughs> Wait, but that's my thing. Is is wouldn't wouldn't that be cultural appropriation in this one? Oh, no, oh. no, not cultural appropriation. <laughs> Leave it to Gray. Leave it to Gray to culturally appropriate. And I, I can only say these words over and over again. When I'm worse than Gwen Stefani. Oh fuck it, fucking fuck. Oh. Uh, when I'm in this, when I'm in this garb, when Gray's in this garb, I can only say these words. Put me in, Cap. I'm ready for the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you recently watch Ace Ventura? Is this is this what this is? It's basically always playing in my mind. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it at work today. When was the last time I thought about it? Uh, it uh, it doesn't really hold up. All right. So while that was going on, uh, there was a XP uh, boost redeemed for sister nova thank you uh specifically for the lollipop in the graveyard comment very good Um, very good yeah (laughs) um and um so you know you're all are sitting here enjoying having a good time and you look out the um little window slits that are at the top of the the wall there around the the hall there and you see uh, the the sun is starting to set. It's starting to get uh, to night time. Should we tea party all night? <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, Ain't no party like a tea party. Well, well that uh, so, sounds perfectly, you know, uh, I say keep the tea party out because there's a lot, lot, of, lot of food. However... That adorable little barkeep over there has been calling my name for the last th- uh, 20 or so minutes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go over to, to Sniffler's Tiki Bar. And <laughs> your, your best recommendation, sir. Uh, Sniffler's going to kind of look up and down. He's going to look at everything he has laid out in front of him. And he's going to go, wah, wah. And he's going to grab a glass. And he's going to, he's got a little mixing tin. And he's just, he's just... Shaking it with the ice and everything, Aww. and he p- strains it out into the glass and hands you uh, a, a fancy-looking um, martini. And then he actually uh, uh, lights a match and sets it on fire. Oh, this is everything. Ooh, this is fancy. Oh my! Combat? Uh, no. So, episode? Uh, so, yes. So I, I, I know better. So I'm gonna stamp my head at hand on top. Of the uh, the martini glass to extinguish the flame. <laughs> Good. You <clears throat> you smell a very it's it's a very nice and smoky um, a fragrance coming off of there. You catch a little hint of um, uh, of something spicy in there. Something some some something hot. Ooh, it's a hot pepper martini. Mmm. Mmm. That fire. How'd you know? I'm gonna reach into my pocket and flip him a coin. I feel like it's different. He's going to jump up and grab it, and then he's going to waddle himself over to uh, Gray and go, wah, wah, and hold the coin out. Oh, no, buddy. You you keep that. You earned it. His eyes get really big. One of them's pointed off to this side. The other one's pointed off to this side, and he's just, wah. He doesn't have any pockets, so he just kind of swallows it. <laughs> That'll hurt coming later. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Okay. <laughs> Alice says, "Tip your bartender." I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh-uh. May- Atlas, maybe maybe Sniffler did have little pockets. Um, it's very very good possibility, but I really loved the idea of him swallowing the coin. So we went we went with it. Full disclosure: I almost passed out just now. Why do you think Gerd doesn't carry coins anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Loincloth doesn't come equipped with many pockets. <laughs> well. Oh, the sun going down. I am gonna take uh, my nightcap, and I'm actually just gonna reach behind uh, the bar and grab whatever this bottle is, and waltz on over to somewhere to go, 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 sleepy bye. 
Uh, chat, I need to know what bottle of liquor um, he pulled. If you want to be as vague as just the type of liquor, that's fine. But if you really want to get in-depth and tell me the, the brand of it, that'd be perfectly fine, too. Oh, no. Um, so while that's going on, is there um, anything else that anyone is doing? It looks like, uh, it looks like the group is settling down to... It's... Um, <laughs> See, I knew something like that was coming too. <laughs> well, see, those are play, those are those are players. So I'm gonna give it to the first person who's not a player. It is Tasmanian tequila. Hmm. All right. right. Hey. Much less fun than Burnett Bubblegum Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Spicy bubblegum. Yes. Spicy. Oh no. That that's big red. That's not bubblegum. That's just gum. You can blow bubble it's chewing it. gum. It literally says it on the package. There's a difference. But we'll save that right. for another day because we're an hour in. Wait, and we no. yet. This is an educational <laughs> moment. This is our educational moment. Like that there, are, there are multiple mm -hmm. types of gum. There's The main groups are chewing and bubble. Mm -hmm. There's yeah, also I'm, I'm really back. sorry there's no gum at the um, the tea party. I know you're really upset about it. Yes. So I'm, I'm going to take this opportunity for Gray to uh, I'm going to walk over to Sniffler to grab grab a drink because I haven't had a drink yet which I, you know what is Gray doing really, you know what's, what's, <laughs> what's he up to So I'm going to walk over and be like Hey pal, can I get a regular? Oh, you're talking to, uh, I'm Sniffler. Talking to Sniffler? I'm asking Sniffler for a regular now it's a regular. Okay, so he grabs he grabs the tall glass and he literally puts an ounce of every single liquor in it, no mixer, and just hands it to you. That's my boy. Right, right. Yeah, man, way to go. And then I'm gonna tip it. Just that's just speed what? running dying. Right, he dives like a dolphin out of the water into the air and just <laughs> grabs the coin. <laughs> Fucking Pac Man over here. <laughs> Thanks, pal. And then I'm gonna head. To, I'm gonna head off. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. Uh, Gray's gonna walk away. I'm having a moment, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, Gray's gonna walk away to like the edge of the tree line and just sit on a rock. There's no. There's no trees. You're in. You're in the bear. Uh, I forgot there was a fire. The fire made me think there was trees. Sorry. I'm gonna kind of walk off because I've been. You know, Gray's been digesting a lot of shit. He's pretty sure his mom just looked at him. So, metagaming, in game now, Gray is going to uh, say thanks, pal. And then, you know, the Hulk walking away style, uh, just kind of walk. Sad piano playing yeah, in the background. Yeah, yeah, he's going to go walk um, to wherever mm -hmm. there's a dark, dark corner, whether it's out into the hallway or to a dark corner of the room. He's going to sit down and just sort you of could, ponder. You could go back into the room that your mother and orphan's um, uh, That's where I'm headed. little imprint was. Yep. Okay. Uh, yes, Sister Nova. Doesn't... Okay, so isn't Grace still wearing the outfit from the tea party mm -hmm. until yeah. the, the, the fruit cake is offered? This isn't... Correct. Okay, so like... <laughs> doesn't matter how far away he walks, he's still going to be wearing that fit. There might be a range to it that you're unaware of, Ooh. but um, he has not reached any range that it could be. It's he's he's close enough. Well, I'll just say that. Um, the the dirty gray. <laughs> Alice has an idea for the name of that drink. Oh my god! It's a girl's sister Nova. Um, behind you, you hear a large thud. Um. Hello. You turn around and you see it is um uh how is it worded? It is uh a uh, pile of fish. <laughs> Thank you, Skepta. <laughs> <laughs> That's our Lord. Yeah, Rungus. you don't know where this fish came from. It wasn't there a moment ago, and it just thudded onto the ground. Uh, uh, you like you're looking around. You look up at the ceiling. There's no hole with which it could have fallen through. Uh, I um, I guess I uh, I, I collect the fish and I store it in um, a bag. 
All right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wild wet thwack. <laughs> oh, wow. Yep. That... Um, it's pretty hot. So Gru's going to be fascinated by the replenishing food. So he's going to be like grabbing one and, and watching it replenish and then doing it. And then like covering his eyes and trying it. And then looking back again. <laughs> and then doing it and then turning around. I love this. I love this. Gur turning into a man of science, try, trying to <laughs> trying to figure out what's going on here. Gur is multi-classing into artificer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a scary though. Uh, let's see, Holly Hera, as you are kind of looking around, you notice on one of the tables there is um, there is a scroll that's uh, kind of rolled up, and it's um. It appears to have some sort of magic property to it. This looks like magic properties to it. <laughs> I love it. No. Uh, so, um, you are reading it, and it says... Life happens, Duncan helps. Life happens, Duncan helps. Wait, that's not what it says. That you're just making me hungry. What does it say? It has words written on it. Oh, I heard a whoop. Where'd the whoop come? A whoop. Whoop, whoop. Mm-hmm. Um, ooga, booga. Wooga, wooga. Woo. Gary, Gary, Gary? As you read that, uh, everybody's minds that are in this barrack, the name Gray kind of gets erased from your memory. And it's replaced by the word Gary. Uh, Same thing with Gur. So, no one feels like anything has happened to them. We'll just say that. Joke's on you. I really the whole time. Gary, come at this. Gary. 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 Hello. Gary. Um. Gary. Hey, guy. He walks up to Gur. Kicks him in the shit. Gary, what are you doing? Look at this. What, the food just, it just keeps coming back. I, I, it's okay, I think. It's, it's I okay. Need it. Gary, it's okay. You know, it, it's, it's magical food, but it's still real food, if that makes sense. Just magic, Gary. Yes. No. Yes. We'll just spell that. Uh, you don't know. Uh, so I just for- as Gary. So as this um uh, as this is happening, um, we'll cut back over to Gary. <laughs> Uh, who has wandered back into the room? <laughs> Gary, that he saw his uh, Gary, so he saw bad. his uh, parents. Anyway, I'm stupid. Man, <clears throat> I don't. I don't even know what. I wonder if. No, that can't be it. As you're kind of having this conversation with yourself, um, little Sniffler head kind of peers over the uh, the doorway, and um, you just hear a very soft and um, sad. Mwah. I wave him. And he kind of waddles over to you and hops up into your waiting arms. Wah, wah, and then starts to nuzzle your chest. You always know exactly <laughs> what to do, but thanks so much, man. Do you? You might meet my mom. I from this, I feel like she's got to be alive. I, I didn't know any of this until I got here. To be honest, I'm overwhelmed, but. If this is my mom, and if she can control time, then she knows I'm here, and I, she's probably in trouble. I need to help her. 
Like I know she would have helped me if she if she only knew I existed. And he kind of sympathetically, wow. We should get we should get out of here. We should go now. I feel like we should go. What do you think, Sniffler? Sniffler kind of goes. Oh, All right, yeah, let's. I guess maybe we should take a rest first, and then he he throws the glass behind him and it smashes on the wall. The rest of you hear a loud shattering. Uh, Quentin, roll a. Um, uh, I guess perception. He's trying. I can see it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're still. You, you didn't hear it. You uh, you you fall asleep. You're still asleep. Um, so that leaves the rest of you here. So, um, Holly Hara. Um. Hi. I don't actually know a lot about you. Um, where, where, where are you from? Where did you grow up? You don't know a lot because I don't really have a lot to say. Well, everyone has a story. I don't much like to talk about it. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to um, pry. I... It's... I, I don't know. It's... Well, if you ever feel like sharing, I'm always here to listen, but if you don't, I'm always here to uh, just be your friend. Appreciate you. I'll be your friend, too. Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, I remember you said something about the stars when we first met. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm very interested in astronomy. I think the stars hold a lot of answers. I think the stars hold a lot of answers too. Um, it's the symbol of the church is the night, but you know, under darkness, all is clear. But what's your, um, do you believe in star signs? Or signs? I have a hard time with those. Okay. I see some aspects of it, but I'm not sold. That's fair. Uh, well, um... So... Sister Nova is trying to find a, um... Sister Nova has like a, a million questions she wants to ask uh, Holly Harrow, but like they all feel a bit personal. Because, <laughs> um, like, you know, Sister Nova has never really met a druid before, and she's a very curious soul. Um, so, did you just inherently know your magic, or did you learn it? I had to learn it. That's so cool. Um, I think so. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm a lot of effort, still working on it. Yeah. Like, These days I'll be able to stay a wolf for longer than two hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that was like a really long two hours, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was it? Yeah, I was trying to push. Maybe it did go longer than two hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was sitting here complaining about it for episodes and episodes, and all I needed to do was read the goddamn rule book. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So, you can turn into, like, a wolf? What else can you turn into? Um, Pretty much just anything that I've... Any animals that I've seen before, I've had to actually, like, physically come in contact with them. I don't really know why or how that works, but I just know that's how it is. Can you turn into a bird? Can you fly? Not yet. Well, I can... No. I don't have the ability to fly yet, so 
So, I mean, I don't know that I could technically turn into a bird and maybe just not fly. I've never tried, but I, I know I, I know I can't fly. Okay. So, but could you be like a spider and like crawl through really small spaces and like listen into conversations? Is that something you could do? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That, that sounds like it would be really useful. Sometimes when I remember that I can do it. <laughs> it's even really good when she turns into a spider and makes a web and writes good pig in it. <laughs> Mom says you can be whatever you want to be as long as you put your mind to it. Oh, thank you. I'm in Gary. Gary? <laughs> I'm, I'm not... <laughs> Gary, I'm Gary. Right. I'm Gary? <laughs> yeah. I'm really proud of you, I'm... Gary. <laughs> what did you I'm think? Gary. Oh, God. I'm, I'm, I'm so... I'm so happy that you felt um, confident enough to come out to us, and you felt safe enough to come out to us. Gary. I'm Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Gary. <laughs> That's that's good. Um, you've always been Gary. We've always known that you were Gary. I'm not surprised that you're Gary. Oh, sorry. I, I thought you I were Gary. saying I'm gay, and I was like, so proud of you, <laughs> girls coming out moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Gary. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, gay. Hmm. I can see it. Just one letter, just one letter <laughs> off. The only difference is a letter. What's, a, what's an R between a couple of friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Did, did, um, I know where Gray went. Went and went off into a corner to sleep, too, right? Is that what I mean? Mm hmm. Are we sleeping? It's right now. Uh, it is. It is. Uh, it is uh, the middle of the night now. Uh, Bruce Gaskin wants to let you all know that this is such great lurk content. Apparently, he has us in the background, probably, uh, probably playing some Star Wars Battlefront Two. If I know him. Thank you. Do what you gotta do, Bruce. Do what you gotta do. This moment was brought to you by Bruce Gaskin. Oh no, he's plotting. He's plotting our next adventure for for Star Wars. Is what he's doing. What was that vomiting sound I just heard? I think it was someone going Bruce, 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 Bruce. Bruce. Oh, <laughs> that's like that's Bruce, like uh, Bruce, the Bruce, Bruce Gaskin Bruce, mating Bruce, call. Bruce. Uh, all right. Um, so, um, are the three of you doing anything else um, before uh, before it gets too late in the evening? He says you rang. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we should definitely one day, Sister Nova, I'll be able to tell you more about me. It's okay. I it's okay if that day never comes. Um, because I would much rather have you as a friend and not know anything about you than lose you just for a fun fact or something or just to learn something personal. Fair enough. I don't even think uh, Ger Gary knows that much about me, so I know. I'm Gary. Maybe I'll... You are Gary. Good job. You are Good Gary. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, um... Yeah, it's... When we get back to the um, library of midnight, um, I'll show you around all the books. And we'll find the astrology ones, and that'll be great. And we didn't get yeah. to do enough of that before we had to set off. With the yeah, I would enjoy that. You can learn more from books and the stars, and maybe murder the holy eclipse. I don't know. Still on the fence about that. Yeah, I don't know. See how the mood feels when we get there. And to be honest, if you get him riled up enough, you can just let Quentin do it and keep your hands clean. I'm sure that won't be a problem. I'm sure it probably falls in line with Killing Day. Maybe, but also I'd, I wouldn't want... What is that? 
<laughs> it's good job will do with something. I know that for sure. But every time it happens, I see his head pop up in the bottom of his corner as he's climbing in his chair. And he's got a little quitting ass smirk on his face. Oh God. I hope he's okay because <laughs> that sounded really awful. <laughs> I'm just um, gonna point point out the the poor Constitution save in in roll twenty, and leave it at that. Oh, oh, someone's someone's having a um, uh, a bad reaction to the uh, the tequila. Too many uh, dirty grapes. Many tequilas. Oop. Um, I guess. Oop, indeed. I guess maybe Sister Nova goes to hold um <coughs> um Quinn's hair back. Uh, and on that, Holly says, you really are a good friend. Better than me. And I just don't go anywhere near that. And I go and find her lay down. Gary, come on! Hold back, um, like, Quinn's Mm -hmm. hat. And I kind of stroke his back. And I tell him everything's going to be okay. And that, you know, he's going to, like, let it out of his system. And I try and do some, like, healing hands on him. And I just, you know, I just try and make him feel safe. And it's like, yeah, yeah everything's going to be all right. And this is, like, normal and natural. Um, <laughs> and it's fine, you know. <laughs> and that we all love him. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Washi didn't, uh, he walked away for a bathroom break, didn't realize what was going on. Yeah, someone can't, um, did not handle his, uh, his, his liquor that well. Girl try to make him feel better by going over and grabbing one of the fish. And going over to him, like, here you go, bud. And put it right in his face. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Would you like some water? Or would you like, wait, would you like some tea from the tea party? Okay, bud. <laughs> Okay. Are you thundercatting over there? <laughs> it's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Just you just gotta get it out your system and then go to sleep. Okay? It's gonna be fine. Everyone here loves you and appreciates you and we're all friends and you're safe here and we all we all really, really like you a lot, and... Uh, you're a liar! I mean, yeah! Feel better, Q! Just, uh, just no. Uh, I'm, it's, it's me, I'm using healing hands, by the way, to try and, like, lessen, like, the poison. Like, sure, as I'm, yeah, like, so... stroking him and, like, holding his hair back with, like, my other hand. Like, I'm stroking his back and holding his hair back. Quentin, um, your uh, your uneasy stomach starts to ease itself. Oh. Uh, you start to feel a lot better, uh, but you do look around off to the side of you, and you have made a mess of the floor. Oh my! Uh, uh, well, that's unfortunate. I'll just go sleep in another room then. Uh, can I carry Quentin to a different room? Because I don't trust Quinton to walk by himself. I just fully like. Sure, yeah, go ahead and um, roll. I don't um, trust you check. to make me walk, and, and I can walk well. Um, yeah, I mean you're strong. You're strong enough. He's not a very heavy. Uh, he's just a half elf, so it's not like if it was Gur. I don't think a. T- I'm sorry. If it was g- either of the Garys, I don't think a twelve would have worked. But uh, Gary for Quinton, yeah. So you kind of, he, Quentin protests a little bit, but you kind of like scoop him up like a little baby. And, um, Quentin, you've seen, you've seen Gurr do this to Gray all the time. Mm. Uh, this feels really comfortable. I, I suddenly understand why Gary enjoys when Gary does this to Gary so much. <laughs> I'm just going to put my, my, my arms a- a- around her head and just kind of nuzzle like I'm, uh, like, I'm going to pass out right then and there. Yeah, I go and find, like, a bed, and I kind of, I stroke his hair as I hold him, and I'm like, shh, it's going to be okay. <laughs> Take a picture for you. That one time he was nice. Oh, he was nice earlier today. That second time he was nice. Sorry, I got the name for the episode. To the, oh god, this uh, 
This week's episode is going to be called uh, um, yeah, Attack of the Garys. <laughs> yes. Fifty Shades of Gary. <laughs> uh, we got a XP redemption for um, Quentin. Now, um, so Quentin has already hit the limit. Mm-hmm. Um, points do not necessarily roll over, but half. They do. So he currently has two extra. So if we were to level up right now, he would be able to carry over one for the next time. Yes. Could he like bank it until we um, level that way in case somebody, anybody removes XP from him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It'll all be where he's at when the level up. If happens. we ever level up. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. You, you guys up. want tea parties? You guys, you guys want tea parties? I know. I like. I, I want. You, I want you guys to enjoy your level four spells and stuff like that. We haven't had an opportunity to do the last combat. You were all level fourteen. Well, look. You oh gave, shoot, that's right. You gave Gray the capa- uh, capability to just reposit a tiki bar, and all of a sudden. <laughs> I can so, summon a tea party at any time. So, so good devil is actually ill at this point. We, it's yeah. it skips through like multiverse. It's the multiverse ill. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so everybody's um, uh, sick. Sister Nova, you know, finds a, a nice quiet um, uh, corner. There's a bedroll there. Places Quentin down. Um, make sure that he's settled and, and comfortable. And so now uh, both of the Garys, ha- Holly Hera and um, uh, Quentin are resting and you're the last one awake. Anything you would like to do? Oh, Sister Nova? me. Oh, sorry. Um, mm-hmm. No, you're good. You're fine. I I guess I want to make sure that everyone has like a blanket, and um, I I guess I uh, put the I end the tea party. Um, and then um, perfect. So you, I, you you offer you offer the the um, fruit cake to anyone. Um, everyone's asleep, but it still works. Everybody's Holly, magic clothes. He goes no armpit. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you know, you 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 wander around to check to make sure that everybody is um uh, sleeping soundly and has appropriate um uh, blankets and whatnot. Everybody seems to. You poked your head in the room that uh, Gray and um, Sniffler are sleeping. You see Gray lying on his back. Um, his uh, shirt's kind of pulled up, exposing his uh, his bloated belly from the the booze. Uh, Sniffler is spread eagle on um uh gray's belly uh and every single time he exhales uh one of the the two coins that he has swallowed spits out of his mouth and flips in the air and as he inhales it goes back in oh um it's so cute i love that <laughs> so everybody everybody seems like they're doing pretty pretty good um well i guess sister nova is a little bit cautious about the town still um, so she is going to clean up, up the vomit in the barracks okay. while also like keeping an, like kind of like a low key patrol thing. Okay. So okay. like she's cleaning, but like she's keeping an eye out for any suspicious activity while everyone else is asleep. You don't hear um, anything out, uh, out in the town. You've done a pretty good job of keeping everything clean. Um, you're looking out the window, kind of judging at, uh, what time it is. And you're, you're looking up at the, the, the moon and you, you've kind of figured you've, you've got about four more hours left in the night. So if you wanted to go ahead and get yourself a, a little short rest to kind of recuperate, you're, you're very, uh, um, very well capable to spend the, the back half of the rest here, um, getting some sleep. Like everything's clean. There's no vomit. There's no nothing. No smashed uh, uh, glass or anything. You you you've done a very good job. The only thing now you have is a uh, bucket that you had found. Now it's filled with uh, like um, sick rags, kind of um, that you've used to clean everything up. I guess I would um, go and like just like clean. Like is there like um 
a source of like water that I, I could rinse the six, six rags out without corrupting the drinking water. Uh, you look around and there's actually uh, what looks to be um, uh, in one of the rooms a bath that appears to have been drawn and then never used. Like someone was getting ready to take a bath and then the snap happened and everybody poof. Can I check how hot the water is first just to see? Pretty tepid. Pretty tepid. Like tepid isn't cold. Uh, like room temp. Okay, that's a bit that's a bit alarming. Because yeah, we've well, been here they... for a few days, and tepid would mean that this bath was run recently, like as in like today. No, no, uh, I, I, my my apologies. It's it's basically the temperature of the room. It's 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 oh. pretty. It, it's it to you. It seems like the the water was hot at one time, and now it's just. Okay, well, the water that had been sitting out. I guess clarify something. As far as my knowledge, we have been in this little town for a few hours at most. Uh, about about a day. You arrived. You arrived early in the, the the day, and now it is night. So you you haven't even been here for a full twenty four hours yet. Um, and it. To make sure I'm. Been a few, you know, wolf yep. brain time moves different when you're a dog. So. Yeah, yeah obviously, like, two hours is like almost twenty four. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh Very wait. Sensitive. Shit, no, weren't we supposed to go to the gate and tell the guy we were safe? <laughs> I guess Sister Nova, like, drops what she's doing and immediately runs to the gate to tell the guy that we're, like, alive. She did, like, come like, in here just to check it first, right? Yeah, like, she went, oh, she, she, she kind of, like, goes, fuck, and, like, runs. I don't, I don't remember no guy. What? Like, the guy who drove well, us here. Yeah, and the caravan. The caravan. Caravan. I don't know. How drunk was Bray? Yvonne, the caravan. So you run out of the, um, you run out of the barracks and you start running towards the gate. Um, you get, um, you get about to the split in the road there. And, um, let me go ahead and move the camera a little bit. Kind of to the split in the road there. And um, you notice off by where the fountain is, you see um, you see a couple of people like wandering around, kind of like cautiously like examining things and looking around. What there are people here? Uh, you see two. Are they the people we came here with? Uh, it's dark, and you're uh, you know, you're about a block away, so it's kind of hard to see from where you are. Um, it's a fair assumption, but you can't be certain from where you are. Um, am I wearing chosen one clothes right now? Or am I wearing common clothes right now? Um, what clothes? Uh, what clothes? You tell me what clothes you're wearing. Because I feel like Sister Nova changed before she came into the city, so she's not like wearing her cho like the ones that obviously connect her to the church. So you probably changed it when you rested outside of the town, like in the yeah, caravan? Yeah, yeah. Got it, okay, cool. Um, Sister Nova um, uses the light cantrip, but not to activate her halo, just to hold in her hand. And she said, mm -hmm. and she, hello? Is someone there? You hear, oh, 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 it's, oh there, you, there you are. I was, I, we, we were wondering what happened. It had been almost a day. We were worried that. Oh. Are, are you all okay? Yeah, we're, we're okay. We're in the barracks. We're just resting. Um, there was um, some confusing time. Was, this town reeks of chron chronomancy, so the time inside the town is different from the time outside the town, and there are lots of time stamped stamps here. Mm -hmm. And he he kind of looks at you and goes, "Oh, well, I, I don't know anything about anyone named Nancy." And I, I'm too poor to to get anything chrome. So oh uh, oh uh, okay sorry um chron chronomancy is one word and it's a very rare type of magic, which relates to the control of time. So time magic, which uh, is oh yeah rare. We're we're just we're just simple folk. We don't know very, we don't know much about magic. It's 
It's okay. You should you should come by one of the libraries one time, and because the whole point of the libraries is that it's available education for everyone. Oh, that'd be that'd be great. My my mom always tells me that I'm too stupid. That's why I have to no have to help with the caravan. No one's stupid. It's it's okay. You, you come by come by the library one time. Um. Um, do, you, do do I need like a card or something? No, you can just walk right in. Just say, "Hey, um, I'm a practicing member of the church, and they'll, they oh, my, they my, should let you in." My my dad says getting anything for free is social is socialism, and that's bad. Well, I'm starting to really hate this kid. I just want you to. <laughs> that's an interesting that's an interesting opinion. Um, but um. You know, you never know unless you try, and you're not a sheeple, are you? <laughs> well, there, there are people who are sheep. Oh man, first it's the dragonborn, and then it's the turtles. And now it's, oh god, I gotta. Okay, do you wanna do you wanna come find the others? Cause they're all asleep. Um, oh, if they're asleep, that's that's fine. Do you, do you know what happened? Are there the, we started examining? It doesn't look like there's anybody here. Um, no, we're trying to figure that out. I'm so sorry we took so long. Um, uh, we're just happy that that you're okay. Here, let me um, let me pay you for your trouble. Um, Sisanova feels really bad about wasting this man's time. Um. <laughs> How much money do I have? Um, That's a good question. Um, can I give him like ten gold? Sure. Yeah. He goes. Oh, wow. I'm. I'm rich. I don't need this. I don't. I don't need this caravan anymore. Oh. Hey, boss. Fucking suck it! And he just takes your gold and <laughs> runs straight down the walkway and uh, out the the gate. I'm just kidding. I love this kid. <laughs> okay. I hate his fucking um, parents, though. He made his bag and he retired. <laughs> Gotta respect it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, I look at the other guy. Uh, I'm very sorry. I thought he was gonna split it with you. Um. <laughs> He goes, that's fine. He um, he didn't really do a whole lot of work. He's weak. Um, um, it's... I was just doing it as a favor to his parents. Uh, I, I'm friends with them, and oh. you know they they said he was a shiftless layabout and needed some work. So, but uh, hey, uh, hey, it was this... nice of you to give him some money. He probably take he's probably gonna take that home to his his family. So that's good. Uh, that, that that's nice. That's of you. good. Um, is there anything I can be doing to help you? Would you like to come back to where we set up camp or? Well, no. If uh, if there's uh, there's nobody here in the in the village, I guess there's no point in us being here. We, oh. we need to sell our we need to sell our goods. So um, we're gonna we're gonna head back to the the port town and, could I, and see if we could I go ahead. could I pay you to take um, myself and my friends to a tower in the forest in the at dawn. Yes. Well, uh, I do have we do have uh, some product to sell that's uh, uh that's gonna go bad sometime soon but i can send i can send them back to the port town and uh i got a couple extra horses maybe we can uh keep a carriage and i don't know where where where, where do you need to go um i point to the tower at the um at the uh edge of the horizon we need to go there he looks and he goes, oh man, that's, uh, I don't know how close I'm going to be able to get you to that in the carriage. That looks like some pretty thick forest, but I can, I'll take you as far as the, the carriage will go. Could you bring some horses? Um, cause then, um, um, no, yeah, bring, take us as far as the carriage will go. Um, how much is this going to cost? Because, you know, it's, goes, an, it's an awful long goes, way for you to go all the way back to the town and then all the way into your carriage and then come back here at dawn and then collect us. So, like, I um, I don't want to waste your time. Maybe, uh, maybe like, uh, 25, 30 gold, maybe? Yeah, I can do that. Um, I'll make sure all my friends are at the gate um, by dawn. 
and I'll pay you um, half now and then half when we get there. Is that fair? That's wonderful. Okay. Well, a pleasure to help. No, it's no problem. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry for wasting your time today. Um, per- perfectly fine. i uh, just glad that you were here in case uh, anything uh, unsavory might have happened. Uh, listen, I'm going to go back to... to square away what I need to square away with. Uh, we'll be we'll be at the gate. I'll be at the gate waiting for you a little bit after dawn. Okay, thank you. Uh, I, and I, I, bow, I bow to him and then I run back to the barracks and try and get as much rest as I can before dawn so I can wake up my friends and get them to go to the date by to the gate by dawn. Perfect. All right. Can we have a meta moment real quick? Sure. Hey, chat. Hey, uh, players. Can we just, again, can we have a round of applause? Katie, playing the fucking game like absolute pro. Dressing the story, knowing how to D&D better than any of us could ever have imagined. Thank you. (laughs) Well played, Atlas says. Um, So the sun starts to uh, break over the horizon. Uh, This is the order in which you all wake up. Uh, it's going to be the order in which you went to sleep. It is going to be uh, Gray, uh, Holly Hera, Gur, Gary. Quentin, and then Sister Nova. Uh, I poke Sniffler on the top of the head. Hey! Gotta yeah, get up, dude. Can you... Yeah, I know. Can you help me pack up the bar? He waddles over to the inside out um, bag of holding and starts to maneuver it to get it back right side in and then kind of gives it a little flip. And then he starts... He tries to pick up the bar, the actual bar, but he's just too small for it. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Can I walk over and help him? Gotcha. And uh, the commotion here is going ahead and waking up um, Gur and Holly Hera. Um, as you all wake up as well, um, the name Gary is erased from your mind, and Gur and Gray are back in it. Oh, my God. Uh, fuck, fuck you, Billy. Moving on. Oh, that was a Billy Wildstar redemption, wasn't it? It was so good. It was very, very good. Good job, Billy. I, I didn't need all the cupcakes. Oh, wait, what? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Gur, you wake up and your magic magical smorgasbord is no longer um, no longer there. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but you do still feel pretty nice and full from all of the, the snack. You ate so much. Um... Holly Harry, you are also awake now. Good morning. How did you? What's up, Gur? Did you say how is your soup? I'm Gary. I said how do it do. (laughs) Gur, why do I want to call you Gary? Did something happen last night? I'm Gary. Like you just said, Gary now. Like forever. <laughs> yeah, Gur Gur for whatever reason remembers being called Gary, and now it's stuck. He's now confused that you're calling him Gur. Okay. Um. So would you prefer I called you Gary? No. Okay. I don't like what do you want me? To... <laughs> okay. What do you want me to call you, Gur? <laughs> Gur. All right, sounds good, Gur. Oh, thank what God. Are, Quentin, every, this conversation kind of um, wakes you up in the corner there. Um, you do not feel as hungover as you feel like you should be because of the healing hands that were uh, placed on you, but you definitely don't feel your best. I'd say maybe about 70 you You feel about 75%. Uh, sounds about right. So uh, uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, uh, unbuckle the decanter of endless water Hold it up, say stream, and try my damnedest to down the whole gallon of water. Roll me a constitution check. Oh, son of a bitch. That didn't work so well last time. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, 
Holy shit. You, you pound an entire gallon of water like a goddamn champ. You immediately feel like you have to pee, though. Like, it's like the weight of an entire gallon pushing down on your bladder. Did we just... Did, did you just waste an entire nat 20 on chugging water? <laughs> yeah, you did. Aw, <laughs> oh, poor Q. Oh, no. <laughs> One's for the rest of the stream. <laughs> right. Well, good news. We haven't left a damn city yet, so... I should be lying. Yeah, I had, I had an encounter plan for you all. As you're not... You're never gonna get there. I'm so sorry. Don't apologize. This is great. It just means that I've got a less to prepare next week. True. This was good storytelling for sure. No. It, is, it has been it has been a month worth of storytelling, which I'm fine with. Um, if you if you ask me, combat is the least interesting part of Dungeons and Dragons, um, but a, nece a, a necessary part. I'm not saying it's not fun. Right. But out of all of the aspects of Dungeons Everybody and Dragons. Everybody at Armand, he just uh, shat all over one of the most important components of Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> at him. At him. Go ahead. At, at me. Him. I don't care. Um, you can find me at Pwn Donkeys on pretty much any platform. Um, yeah. Is that how that's pronounced? Pwn Donkeys? Yeah, Pwn. Mm -hmm. PWN's Pwn. Pwn. Where it's for old, old people, get it? Yeah. <laughs> it's for old people. <laughs> it's It started as a typo of, of people saying owned. Um, and then it just became like... Oh my god, late speak is boomer speak now. Yeah, oh, no. late speak is boomer speak. No. Oh god. Ew. Uh... Seinfeld is on Nick at Night, and no, it's not, it's not, it's my not. slang is now boomer slang. Nah. That sounds like a Calabama. No, yes it is. <laughs> Calabama so is some real... Tavy with the, the isms. Oh my goodness. Lollipop in a graveyard. Calabama. Spot Gen Z, but you can't. <laughs> Absolutely. <sighs> All right. Um, so this conversation wakes up, um, Sister Nova. You definitely feel like you've gotten enough rest. Uh, the four hours was enough for you, considering that no one's really done a whole hell of a lot of anything. Um, um, is it dull? And it is. Um, it is just at dawn like he he said he was going to be there a little bit after dawn so you've got some time um okay everyone we've got to go to the gate like now everyone get your shit together we have to leave now <laughs> we gotta go to the gate okay we, um yeah guys um, let's, we gotta wait why are we going to the gate what's why we, are we, well, hold on I, I had a whole thing happen what do you mean what do you we're, uh, we're getting a lift to the tower um, I arranged, I arranged it last night. I prefer, ooh, never mind, I'm not gonna make that joke. All right, let's go. Okay, um, is everyone feeling okay from last night? Last night got a little out of hand. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm um, good. Q, are you, are you okay? Uh, you look <sighs> over and, um, Q has his back turned to everybody and you just see this lo little stream of, of liquid between his legs no. going onto the wall. Ah, feeling better now, Nova, thanks. <laughs> can I can I redeem a one liner? <clears throat> I mean, you can you're role playing, you can say whatever you want. <laughs> it's not for me. Oh no. <laughs> That's not how it works. God damn it. Like um so uh, okay, cool. So let's uh, let's all go to the to the gate. Um, we're getting a lift to as far as um, the guy can take us um, in the caravan to the woods. I already I already paid him. Um, yeah, and don't worry about tidying up the place. I already did that. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Let's go. And I pick up my backpack full of fish and I run. And I, I, <laughs> I, I sling my bar, my bar, a bar and a bag over my shoulder, and I, I toss a, 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 a sniffler into a pocket, and then I start running after. Oh, it's a running contest again. Yeah. And while I'm running, I'm like, what the fuck is that? Do you, bro, do you smell that? And I like look in my pocket, and I ask sniffler if he smells that. 
Sniffer goes, wah. He looks very happy about it. Yeah, I thought you would. Okay. Um, hold on. And I'm going to, I think it's coming from Sister Nova. I'm going to take Sister Nova Sniffer nervously out. starts running faster. <laughs> so, so Sister Nova, here's this. Okay, cool. I'm going to, I'm going to take, take Sniffler out and just <laughs> fucking chuck on him <laughs> at Sister Nova while we're running. And hope and hopes that he'll land in her backpack of fish. You want to roll? Like, to roll for this, or Sniff- sure, sure. Go ahead and roll for your throw. Um, Strength. Does my um like armor class class come into this like at all? I don't. Know. I, don't know. I don't know. Uh, take twenty it, points of sniffler is, damage. Is it acro? Throw, <laughs> Go ahead. Throwing would technically be dex. So roll roll the roll the dex. Roll the, roll the dex. Let's see how. Um. Yeah. So you I'm gonna roll, use my inspiration. You, Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Wasting that twenties on being able to drink an entire gallon of water, using your inspiration to throw your familiar at another party member. I mean, who who could ask for more from your party? I was a great party uh, member. I'm... Why are you throwing? <laughs> I'm throw I'm throwing Sniffler into your backpack of fish because he's a hungry boy and he didn't get to have breakfast, and I love him. <laughs> We have a tea party like on the go, and where he can wear a <laughs> outfit any time. Um, so um, Sniffler's sailing through the air. Um, uh, as he's sailing through the air, like he's like Superman, and he's like like this the entire way, like. <laughs> um, he gets he gets to uh, Sister Nova, and he kind of like lands on uh, Sister Nova's shoulder. And Sister Nova, you look and you see this Sniffler just staring at you. And he kind of like looks at the um, your bag. Uh, you seem like he's. It seems like he's asking for consent. Uh, okay, so I hold Sniffler like baby, and I grab one fish, and then I kind of feed it to him as I'm like full, fully still running. <laughs> like running. He's like. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, 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 oh. And he spits out like a cartoon, like an entire uh, uh, fish skeleton, like intact. That's beautiful. I love that. <laughs> they got it. Oh, and Bruce Gaskin, don't worry about that shout out. You deserve it. Hey, everybody, go check out that Bruce Gaskin. We, we stand. TV slash Bruce Gaskin. Bruce Gaskin. The, the best streamer for Squadron's uh, uh, bunk or uh, uh, the garage, whatever. Ever. So now that you're more confused about what he does, um, he streams Star Wars. <laughs> oh, he's basically a huge Star Wars nerd. Hanger streaming, yep. Hanger, mm-hmm. there it is. God, yeah. you points. just we <laughs> you just gotta keep Baskin in Bruce Gaskin's aura. Ooh, hanging in the hanger. Gaskin the Gask. So who's gonna freestyle? I will. I'll... No, no one. Okay, cool. No, okay, sorry. so as uh, so um you Can't all you all time. make your way to the um to the gate and as you get to the gate you see um uh you see the caravan leader uh sitting in his carriage being pulled by uh you know uh, two horses um, uh, off in the distance and he's slowly making his way uh towards the the city okay uh, cool so we're not late that's good I look behind me to see uh, how far my party is. To yeah, see if they're nearly race? here. I think uh, Sister Nova won the race, I'm pretty sure, because she just got that. Si- si- Sister Nova did win because of um, her... F- first, for her embarrassment. Um, <laughs> but between between Gur and Grey, let's see. Can we roll? 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 Can we both roll, roll me... Acrobatics, I guess. Athletics. Athletics. Both of you make an athletics check. Hey, I thought oh. mine was the 19. <laughs> uh, Gur, yeah. you just sprint past. Your, your long legs just give you that ability to just, without even breaking a sweat, get past them. I want to face palm him as I pass by him. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Some like mean <laughs> jock energy. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah, you um, fucking meathead, I say as he smushes my face. 
And unless Quentin and Holly Hara tell me otherwise, both of them are just like casually walking down the uh, the pathway, um, chilling towards the 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 gate. Mm-hmm. Um, do, 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 do you two have that? Do you have any? Do yeah, you, no, uh, you want to say to each other? Yeah, no, I got on? a, I got you know one of my one of my pocket meats in my left hand. I got my decanter of endless water. I have refilled it by saying uh, stream. And just taking sips and you know chewing on uh, you know uh, munching down on my, my 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 pocket meat. You good, bro? It's a good day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this suddenly turned into a high school. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> oh my god, let's all assign high school stereotypes to each other. Uh, we already did earlier. Where were you? Yeah, right. <laughs> we just, we just, we, sat, we talked about what we were wearing. That's what that whole thing uh, was. So. Oh, right. Oh, sorry. I was at the Met Gala. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> true. Very true. That's where you were. Yeah. Did you hi- high five AOC for me? Okay. Like, um... Wait, that's past. Past tense. Can't do a thing. Never mind. I mean, I mean, like how characters, like. Sister Nova's definitely shooting counsel. I think. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Like... Sister Nova is the one where like the math teacher is getting ready to dismiss everything and and she goes, But 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 Mr. C, you you didn't you didn't give us any homework. <laughs> and then and then he's like, Oh, you're absolutely right. Everybody, you're gonna do page thirteen and fourteen today in your workbooks. You're gonna do the odd ones on thirteen and the even ones on fourteen. And Gray one hundred percent snags Sister Nova's binder from behind when we leave the class mm. in the hallway and pulls it down and creates a big mess, pops her rings. But it's one, fine one. because she has like a spare binder in her other in her locker just in case this happened. <laughs> <laughs> what does Holly do? She um she hisses at you because she's that girl in school that didn't talk to anyone, just hissed at people in the hallways and might have had a rolly book bag. And, <laughs> oh my goodness, I know, I, 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 I know yeah, you. know I know you. And Q was, Q was somehow aware of the spare uh, textbook and was left a <laughs> rotten fish in your in your locker. <laughs> <laughs> What does Gur do? Does he? Uh, I was gonna say, what was Gur in high school? He fucking spikes a foot volleyball into some Gur eats the rotten fish. He's the dumb jock. He's the one who's just super competitive with everybody. Giant dumb brute. For no good reason. No, 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 no good reason. Sorry. <laughs> well, now that we have now. discussed ad nauseum the um, uh, high school archetypes for all of the party members. It's the Adenia Breakfast Club, okay? <sighs> we need to do a one shot of the Adenia Breakfast Club. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Look, um, if if another if another very popular internet group hadn't already done a high school themed D and D campaign, I'd be all over this. They right don't now. own the i the idea of high school. They don't it's own that. Right. They hey, didn't copyright that. Wait, who did it? All right, hey, if that's if that's the case, then hey, um, who done it? High school, high school. Here we go. I'm gonna start. I gotta start world building again. <laughs> no, no, you already got one that you haven't even started on yet. I know. Hey, listen, listen. I can, I can have, I can, I just put it at the back of the queue. You don't and, tell me what's what. Hey, hey, you don't put nothing on my back, okay? <laughs> it's okay. It's it's hard to maintain on a cat day with my chair spinning. Happening. <laughs> so everybody you kind know. of um, uh, finally gets to the Holly? gate. <laughs> Holly died. Rip Holly. Uh, that's fine. We're pretty much close to the end anyway. Um, yeah, we never needed that. Holly's back. Holly's back. Huh. Holly I was going to say, didn't um, need the bitch, but then again, she's already changed back from a, being a wolf, so. <laughs> um, so I even, I, am I even in the call? Yes. Yeah, yeah you, you are. I can hear I can you. I can see you. Maybe. Yeah. Camera's not working. Nope, can't see you. But um, I can hear Yo, your voice. It's M during Star Wars 2.0. <laughs> Everything broke. Gur is literally having a flashback. <laughs> yeah. or he's frozen. I think I can't tell whether he's frozen. <laughs> or it's just a character. Gur is, Gur is frozen. Um, frozen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's frozen. Well, let me join. 
I really love the way Gur is frozen though. Can we somebody screenshot this? I need this look. He's this very is such a vibe. He, like he, Gur, Gur looks exactly he's... like the Lux Dragon, only with orange hair right now. <laughs> Uh, so you all and, <laughs> yes. Um, Holly Hera and oh, there we go. Holly Hera and Quentin finally meet up with the rest of the group. Uh, Gray is wheezing. Um, you don't know me. Uh, from from trying to beat uh, Gur. Uh, Gur is, hasn't even broken a sweat. He's just standing there waiting for you to catch up to him. And Gur says, uh, Gray says to Gur, <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> Let it out, buddy. <laughs> he says nothing. He just keeps music. <laughs> you also pack a day on top of all that booze there, Gary? Uh, I have a cold. And my name is Gray, you son of a bitch. Gary is dead. Why did I want to call you Gary? Do I give out Gary vibes? Just to be safe, I'm going to call everyone Gary from now on. That'll be just my thing. I'm not Gary, you're Gary. That's my thing. You're having this argument amongst yourselves, and um, the the caravan leader um, pops himself, uh, not pops himself, but finally gets to the main gate here, and he says... Uh, all right. Well, you, you all ready? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and head to the head to the forest. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you so much. Um, I'll give you the rest of your payment when we get there. Oh, that's perfect. Um, there there's not enough room in the carriage for everybody. Um, someone's gonna have to ride shotgun with me up here. Um, and then he kind of like scoots over a little bit and does one of these little I'll do it tap tap maneuvers. Uh, Who said that? Sure. <laughs> he goes, oh, yeah, that, sh yeah, you know what, buddy, get on up here, come on. He kind of scoots over a little bit more, <laughs> just a little bit more room. I imagine still uncomfortably close. It is very, very These close. These sweaty yeah. thighs right now, that's what this is. <laughs> the amount of tension. <laughs> he, um, he you then see me in my party out. dress. Oh, <laughs> He hops off the um uh the front of the carriage and kind of walks around and opens up the carriage doors and says, "Please, everybody, go ahead and uh hop on in, and we'll we'll get you where we need to go." Before I hop in, and uh, thank you, Chet, for reminding me. Yes, it has been some time. I'd like to look in the in the air and just see if I can find me a bird. Uh, perception check. You actually see, let's see. Oh, that's a lot. Um, you see an entire flock of birds doing that thing that birds do where one of them shoots off in another direction and the rest of them all instantly know to follow. So it's like a huge mass of dark just darting around the sky. Aim dead center. hi -ya! Ooh, a 20. Yeah, your Eldritch Blast reaches from your fingertips and flies into the sky. And you you led them just enough. You anticipated that they'd turn in a different direction. And you smack dab right in the center of all these birds. And half of them just fall to the ground. <sighs> this is a fried chicken Why? situation. Because sometimes, some people, because Holly, some people have a cup of coffee in the morning. Some have themselves a nice little smoke. I hiya. You know, I'd rather birds than a person. This is progress. <laughs> and as Sister Nova says that, we'll go ahead and end today's episode. No, so I'm going to add that I did not give a shit when he killed the human, but now I'm pissed that he killed innocent animals for no reason. Yeah, Holly Hare definitely would be very upset about that. <laughs> that makes sense. Well, hold on to that anger, yeah. and we'll pick that. Let we'll it, pick let that it, on it's next usually week. better. I have it heat at least from at least one character per session, so I'm I'm really good. You just caught it. You <laughs> caught it. You caught the heat at the very end. <laughs> 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 really want Holy Hara to punch Quinn next, next session. 
I am. I don't know if he went back and watched all the VODs, but I've tried to attack him in retaliation many times, and the roles never work for me. I yeah, always no. Yeah. no, they don't. It's, it's always very sad. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> But anytime Quentin is bullying Holly Hera, it's like a 20. Yeah. Oh, god damn. Yeah. Well, um, lords and ladies, I want to thank you all so much for joining us for another rousing edition of the Adenia campaign here on Lords and Ladies of Fate. Uh, tomorrow we'll be doing something a little bit different. We need to get everybody mentally prepared for the alien stream, which will be starting next week. Uh, so in order to do that, uh, we have three people who are on the final level of aliens fire team. We have, uh, Mr. Nat Jester. We have our very own, um, Billy Wildstar and, uh, Jen Washitashi. All three of them will be beating this game, uh, tomorrow with myself as your wonderful shout casting host. Uh, we will be having um, uh, guests appearing, um, basically uh, people that will be a part of the alien stream that will be kind of introducing their characters a little bit. We'll do a little chit and chat. Uh, Nat has prepared some wonderful aliens facts for us. We'll go ahead and talk about those as the uh, stream progresses. But uh, it's going to be a really fun time. So it's going to be something completely different, something we've never really done. Uh, but the f next week, we will be back to our regular schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. We'll have our Star Wars on Monday. We will have... What? Not Star Wars. We will have Star Trek on Monday. I, it's one of the stars, okay? The other star. Our Star Trek on... <laughs> yeah, Star Trek on Monday. We will be back with Adenia next Wednesday. And... Woo! I mean, I love the Adenia campaign and I have so much fun DMing for you guys. You guys make it so much fun. But I am super, super freaking excited for the next episode of the Star uh, Wars uh, stream. Me too. Uh, join us for yeah. that next week. And um, yeah, that's about all the announcements I got for you. We're going to go ahead and be uh, uh, rating uh, DB3212. I don't know what they're playing, but they usually the have, have Ball a, Z a good time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they do a lot of good stuff. TV sounds good. Get on track about it. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and um, uh, close this out the same way we always close out. Oh, hey, also remember when we raid, you represent us and yourselves, lords and ladies of fate. So don't be a dick. Be obnoxious, but in a fun way, fun noxious. But we'll go ahead and close out this stream the same way we close out every week with that patented Adenia catchphrase. That's definitely the same thing every single week and definitely not six different things shouted by six different people. <coughs> so on the count of three, everybody, one, two, three. Uh, oh my God, they didn't have a fight amongst each other. I am insanely proud. I am great. If I don't eat, I will die. If I don't...